Nice evening at Ottaville's Long Green Mile. Quad meet with Fort Jennings, Pandora Gilboa, and Temple Christian in town. Boys 4 by 8 relay. Rockets take first. Levi Latham, the anchor. Time of 9 minutes 36 seconds for the girls. It's a rocket sweep as Brianna Hovis, the final leg. PG's time 11 14.6 for the girls 4 by 8. Girls 100 hurdles. Ottaville's Alicia Huntingford in first place. 16.2 seconds for the boys. 110 hurdles. Big Green's Eric Von Sassen crosses the line first in 17.31 seconds. Take the hurdles away, the girls 100 meters. Temple Christians, Madison Yanks first place, 13.14 ticks. Meanwhile, it's a pioneer sweep at Seth Luganville, the fastest time in the boys, 100, 11.24 seconds. Girls 1600s now. Pandora Bowes, Brianna Hovist in first as the Rockets go one through four. Olivia Vallesquez finishing in second. For the boys, 1600. Big Green's Brandon Seifer holds off Fort Jennings' Dylan Weikert by just six hundredths of a second to take first. Girls 4 by 100 relay, Pandora Gilboa winning. Corey Basinger, the anchor, 56.34 seconds. For the boys, it's Fort Jennings with the easy win. Jeff Hurston, your anchor. Go to the field now in the pole vault. Ottaville's N German clearing at 9 feet 3 inches. That would be the top height in the boys' pole vault. Girls shot put now, Pandora Gilboa's Mackenzie Swarey. 33, one and a half inches on this throw. She would win the shot put in the discus. For the boys' discus, Brady Walter from PG. 115 feet, six inches. As PG goes one for both the shot and discus for the boys. His teammate Tyler Bowes winning first place in the shot and discus for the boys. As we look at the team results, beginning with the ladies, Pandora Gilboa in a first, despite Brooke Mangus high jumping 5-6 for Ottaville. And for the boys, it's PG in first as well. Ottaville, Fort Jennings, and Temple rounding out the top four.